In this video, I'll give you a couple tips to help you write better chord progressions for your songs. Let's get right into it. So a few days ago, I was watching Dynamo Dream. It is a sci-fi short film by the amazing VFX artist Ian Hubert. And he's also a musician, so he wrote like half the music in the film. I really like the chord progression in one of the songs, so I decided to analyze it. Let's listen to it. Pretty cool, right? And it sounds way better with his arrangement and with all the amazing visuals. Definitely go watch his video. So the first thing we're going to look at is this very interesting chord. It doesn't sound very nice by itself. That's because this is a diminished chord. It is made out of two minor thirds on top of each other. Let's take a closer look at the progression to see how he's using this chord to make it sound nice. The song is in the key of D major. And the progression goes like this. D major, G major, D major, E minor, A major, A sharp diminished, B minor, A major, G major, A major, and back to D. Overall, it's a fairly simple chord progression in a major key. You start with the one, going to the four, and then at the end you have the 5 going to the 1. But what happens in the middle is very interesting. In this part of the progression, we have the A major chord for the first time. And A major is the dominant in the key of D major. That means that it creates a tension that resolves by going back home to the first degree. But that's not what we have here. Our clever composer is avoiding that resolution and instead we have this. He raises the A to A sharp, giving us A sharp diminished. Every major key has one diminished chord in it, and that is the seventh degree. For example, in the key of C major, the seventh degree is B diminished. And just like the fifth degree, it also creates a tension that needs to resolve to the first degree. They are kind of interchangeable because the dominant seventh chord, which is used to take us back to the one, it actually has the B diminished in it. That's why sometimes you can use one instead of the other. This is called chord substitution. Now, to better understand why we have the A sharp diminished, we need to look at a chord that comes after, and that is B minor. This is our sixth degree. A very usual trick to take us to the sixth degree is by first playing the third degree, in this case, F sharp minor, then making it major, and then going to the six. This is called applied dominant or secondary dominant or whatever the hell you want to call it. And you can apply dominance to guide you to any chord you want. And so, since we want to go to B minor, the composer is applying F sharp 7th as a dominant chord. But without the F sharp, so we only have A sharp diminished. And we get there very smoothly by having an A major chord before that. Ah, 
I really like stuff like this. When you first look at it, it seems simple and it sounds cool, but it's so clever. The second way to make your chord progressions less boring is by changing the duration of the chords. As you can see here, the first chord lasts four beats, the second one lasts three, the third one is one beat, then two, and so on. If you don't like one of your chord progressions and it looks something like this, you have lots of options to play around with. Not every chord has to come in at the beginning of each bar. You can make this a little bit less predictable by taking some of the chords and making them come in one beat earlier. Play around with the time, it can be a lot of fun. And one extra tip is to use inversions. For instance, the beginning of the song without inversions would sound like this. You could make it work, but those jumps are a little bit too abrupt. Changing the order of the notes can help you make your chord changes a lot smoother. And that's it. I think those few tricks go a long way in making your chord progressions more interesting. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I hope you found this video helpful. If you liked it, please give it a like and consider subscribing. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.